Okay, tonight we're going to step off the beaten path a little bit, at least for, uh, for most DBAs, and we're going to take a look at how to add a user to uh, a local group on, in Windows through PowerShell. Now, <clears throat> this came about actually because we just got a new DBA, and we've got, you know, a few dozen boxes, and he needed both SQL access and Windows access on all of these boxes. And I sat down and started thinking about it, and I was like, well, how am I going to handle this? Um, the SQL part's actually pretty easy, right? But it's the Windows part, because you've got to you got to cycle around to all the boxes. You got to TS into all the boxes, and you've got to give them. Uh, you got to put them in the admins group on every single one of them. So, uh, you know, I'm only going to do part of it here. Uh, I had I'd originally intended on doing both parts and then putting them together in a script for you. But I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to break these up into three separate videos, so that uh, they're more modular, so that somebody that wants to learn how to put a user in an AD group or or in a, in a local Windows group uh, can learn just how to do that and then they can learn just how to do the next part and then I'll put them both and then I'll put them both together for you in the last video so <clears throat> tonight let me show you what we've got I'm starting here I'm gonna put a user in the admins group if I can get the admin to come up for some reason it's been taking a second tonight I'm get the hourglass going Uh, there we go. Okay. So you can see I have no group here. I have I have nobody in here, right? What I'm going to look for here is this user I created on here that's called PS test, this PowerShell test. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here in PowerShell. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to type a new variable and uh, I'm just going to I'm going to type this for you first. user equals and then we'll talk about it when I'm finished. Let's see, parentheses, quotes, and then slash. Now here I'm going to uh, I'm going to need the box name because I'm I'm doing it on a local box. I'll explain all that in a minute. But for right now, I'm just going to copy it out of here. that. I just don't remember the box name or I would type it. So I'm going to here, paste, there we go. <clears throat> and then here it was PS test. Okay, so let's take a look at this first line. I'm, I'm creating an object. I created a variable right here and I typed it as an ADSI object, an ADSI object. And uh, <clears throat> In that object, I'm calling WinNT, and I'm giving it the uh, the name of the box. And here I'm pointing at the screen again, like you can like you can see what I'm doing. So here I'm giving it the name of the box and the username. Now this works across the LAN too, right? <clears throat> so if I wanted to to set this to a LAN account, so if it were uh, domain slash ps test, then I would put the domain name here instead. But since I'm doing all this local. Um, I'm using local accounts, but it works the exact same for a domain. So whatever domain account you want to give, uh, you want to give rights to on on that local box, <clears throat> you can add that right here. So hit enter. So I I uh, created that that uh, <clears throat> that variable. I typed it as an ADC type. That's the the type it is. Since it's a local account, I have to add WinNT colon whack whack then machine name or domain name right whack and then the username now I need to create a group object because I need to tell it what group I want to put it in in order to do that I'm just gonna copy that other line and I'm gonna change that from user to group still gonna be at win and t still gonna have the uh, the server name only this is going to be the name of the group. Did I go too far? Seven nine two two. I went too far. Uh, there we go. And then, so I want this one to go in the administrators group, 
right? So let's just make sure I got that. Oh, one seven nine two two. Okay. So hit enter. Good. So what I've got <clears throat> is an Again, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna over-explain this because some of this stuff can be thick, especially to DBAs, because you know we're not a very bright bunch. But um, you know this is the kind of thing that we get called to do all the time, and you know granting this access today, had I done that by hand, it would have taken me a couple hours, you know, to cycle through all the boxes and do everything I needed to do. <clears throat> I was actually able to script this in PowerShell in about seven minutes, and then just you know, push a button and it just cycled through all the boxes and gave them all the rights you needed. It was actually a beautiful thing. So, this is just one part of that. So, I got the user, and then I've got a group that I also typed as an ADC object and assigned it to the administrators group. Fair enough. Now all I have to do <coughs> is I have to act as now I'm going to add that user to the group. So in order to do that. I take the I take the group PS based at invoke parentheses quotes call the add method and along with the add method I'm gonna pass it that's right the user that we just did there we go so let's talk through this line a little bit the most interesting thing, I mean, most of this is is uh, uh, fairly self-explanatory, right? I've got the group object that I created up here, and I'm calling its invoke method from the PS base. Now, <clears throat> PS base is something that uh, we'll discuss very shortly here. But in a nutshell, when you do a get member on an object, okay, so right now this object group is an ADC type object and you can do a get member on it and you can get all of its methods and its properties by doing a get member on it, right? Well, the get member that you do is really somewhat of a it's 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 a limited view of the things that of the most common uh the most common properties and methods that they want you to see. Um but they don't show you everything sometimes, okay? So Consider it to be consider git member to be like a view. It kind of in, in the database. It kind of it, it kind of presents the real data the way um, the way they want you to see it. Okay, the way that you're most the way that you're most commonly going to use it. And PS base is the raw data itself. So it's like getting it directly from the table to stick with the SQL analogy instead of from the the view that's been altered. So you call PS base, and all of a sudden the invoke method shows up, and I'll show you that in a second maybe. The the invoke method shows up, and then you hit add, and then you pass it the username that that you set up up here, and it's really that easy. So now I hit enter, and hopefully, ah, oh, good. Okay, 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 okay. I see what the problem is. So. <clears throat> What threw me initially when I got this error was that this is the error that you get by default when the user already exists in the group. Um, you have to add a check, you know, you, you, you have to add a check to make sure he doesn't already exist. But by default, if he does exist, then you'll get an error that looks like this, exactly like this. But what I didn't do was on this one, see, because I saw um, exception calling invoke with two arguments. What I didn't do was read the group name could not be found. So I just read the first half of it and, and left it at that. So this is another case of be sure to read the error message, right? So what happened was, let me go up here, is I misspelled administrators. There you go. A-D-M-I-N-I-S-T-R-A-T-O-R-S. Administrators. I'll do that. And then I'll come back here and I'll call that final line that we just called. There we go. That's better. Now, if we come in here. Where are you? There you are. I'll take it a minute. I probably should have done that from the user side. I don't know why it takes so long to come up here.
Okay, um, I hit the wrong button there, and so I'm having to start up a new video. Uh, so you see here, I've got my PS test in the administrators group, okay, and I didn't have it there before. So I'll go ahead and remove it again, just so that we can do this again. Let's talk through this one more time. This first line here, I create an object user. Okay, I'm back. Nothing but distractions tonight. Okay, so you create a user, or uh, I'm sorry, you create a uh, um, a variable, and you type it as an ADSI type, and then you pass it the uh, the win and team moniker, which tells you that you're working with a local group. Um, then you uh, you pass in the domain and the username that you want to that you want to put in, and of course the domain in this case is a local account, but it doesn't have to be. You pass that, so then, oops, there you go, oh that's the wrong one for sure, there we go, <clears throat> then you do the same thing for the group, you create a, a, a group variable, you type it as ADC, same thing, pass it the NT moniker, and then, and then give it the, the machine name and the group that you want to add this guy to, and then finally, you call the invoke method for the group for the for the group variable that you just created so you're saying this group which in this case is the administrators group right you take the ps base dot invoke which again ps base is the the raw you're you're getting the raw data back from the class instead of the filtered view type data that you get from a regular get member then you just call the add method and then you pass it the username that uh, that you put in there and there you go and I'll show you one more time except we're not going to go that way we'll go this way come here member of administrators right there and it's just that easy I'll remove that and it's just that easy to uh, to put a user into a group and like I said there are, there are many things that can be done with this and this was actually part of a bigger project so <clears throat> soon I'll go on and I'll come on here and I'll I'll give you the the other part of this from the SQL side and then we'll and then I'll show you how to put them together in an actual script that will that will actually do something real for you um, but right now you know if you wanted to take this or if you wanted to take this regular script and do it from a command line, you know, create a script out of this and pass it in parameters so that you didn't have to TS into a box to add somebody to a group. Hey, you know, knock yourself out. That's what this kind of thing is for. So anyway, good luck.